welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be going through all of my favorites in February. But since I haven't done this video in so long, this is really like an up-to-date favorites video. I didn't wanna keep the list too, too long, so I try to keep it as current as possible. So I have seven items for you guys in total, and there's gonna be two clothing, three kinda like beauty, makeup, skincare, whatever, and then two home ones. Before I officially get this video started, I do wanna just kinda give you guys a heads up that I'm currently in Vancouver, so I'm in my parents' house and they're still renovating. The renovator is actually here right now installing tiles, so if you do hear hear this really loud noise, that's what it is, and I'll try to pause as much as I can. But I have tried to close the door and everything, so hopefully you won't hear as much of that. But anyway, without further ado, let's get this video started. The first two items that I wanted to go through first is clothing. The first one I wanted to talk about is this H&M jacket that I got. It's this Sherpa coat that is quite long, and the reason why I love it so much is because I noticed that this Sherpa style in this camel Teddy color has been very, very in. I actually already have one in pink, but um, I think that this one is a little bit more versatile and it looks really, really cozy. I'll see if I can pull up some inspo pictures that I've had that kind of inspired me to get this coat and I'll leave them here. One of the reasons why I got this coat was also because there was an ad on Facebook from H&M and it was telling me that it was discounted. So that's kind of why I got it. If you're like, who falls for these ads? Well. I do, apparently. I'm just gonna leave a link below to show you guys how much it is, but it's already on sale. I put it on my stories a couple days ago as well. I'm just gonna leave the prices up on the caption, but right now the coat is on sale. After wearing it all of this week in Vancouver, I say that I'm wearing it all of this week, but really it's been three days. But anyway, so in the past three days that I have worn this coat, it has been very warm and I haven't had to really wear a lot underneath. For the price that it is, I'm quite surprised. I definitely do recommend. For this coat, I did stay true to size, so I am a small for this coat. You obviously can buy the jacket online or in stores, but if you're not a loyalty member on H&M, you don't get free returns. You just really sign up for an account, it's completely free, and by just doing that one simple step, you now are eligible for free returns. It'll send you a shipping label um, when they send you the package. So honestly, like I highly recommend just being a loyalty member because you do get a lot of discounts. I've already saved a lot on my home stuff and it's been honestly so easy for me to make the returns instead of having to go to store and lug everything around. Speaking of, I did also get a lot of stuff from H&M for my home but obviously because I'm not home right now I can't show you but I think that the haul for my home I think I will do that in a completely separate video so I don't collude it with all of this other stuff. Anyway, moving on to the second clothing item. So the second clothing item I actually got from Zara and it is this tan sweatsuit here. I'm trying to show you, but like not try to hold it on for so long because yesterday I just stained it when I ate. So you can, if you can see, um, I have left a stain here, but I'm not that worried because if you have seen my other video, I have a really sick trick to getting the stains out. So if you haven't seen that video already, I will leave a link below. I got this sweatsuit from Zara and it comes with a pair of matching pants. They're pretty affordable compared to some of the other ones I've seen in other locations. I really wanted a tan suit because once again, something I've seen all the time and I always wanted to have like a full sweatsuit when I went to the airport. So this was literally my outfit coming here to Vancouver. I wore the sweatsuit and I also wore my new teddy coat from H&M. What I'm trying to say is that both of them make a fabulous outfit, but also they're both both pretty affordable and um, it's honestly very, very comfortable, which is my style as you know, because I just ain't about the uncomfortable clothing. So anyway, I really, really recommend both of these if you guys are interested in like a new sweatsuit and stuff. The sweatsuit also comes in a full white version and a full black version. So I will leave the one that I have and you guys are free to explore the other colors. For sizing, I still stuck true to size. So I did get a small for both of the top and the bottom. Moving on to the beauty stuff. Once again, I have three items here for you. The first one I wanted to share with 
with you is this lip gloss from Charlotte Tilbury. And this lip gloss here is also the one that I have on right now. I only have the lip gloss on, so I don't have any lipstick underneath. I just have this lip gloss. You can see that there's already a little bit of color, which is why I didn't need a lipstick below. But this one is the lip gloss by Charlotte Tilbury in the color Pillow Talk. So there already is a color with it. If you know me already from all my Instagram posts, you know that my everyday color is the Pillow Talk lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury. So when they came out with the lip gloss, I was absolutely obsessed with it. I actually made a dedicated video on all of my essential lip products, which is gonna come out later this week. But I actually got this after I made the video. So this one didn't make it into the video. So that's why I thought it was a really good idea to include this one in this video. So I'm not missing any products, you know what I mean? So stay tuned for the other one that will have a lot more content just dedicated to lip products, including lip balms, lip glosses, lipsticks, etc. The one little complaint I have about this lip gloss is just that, so if you can see from the tip of the lip gloss, they did this really cute thing where they made it into a heart shape applicator. And as cute as that is, and it doesn't affect kind of like putting it on or anything, but the one thing it does affect is because like the tip of the heart is like up here, whereas the applicator is like this. So the two top parts get stuck when I'm pulling it out of the tube. And there's been so many times where it's right when I get to this area, it's like hard to pull out. And if I pull out sometimes all of the liquid comes out, Okay, why does this sound so inappropriate? But <laughs> this is not my intention. <laughs> Point is, this is a great lip gloss, but it would be nice if they changed the applicator so it wasn't so difficult to come out. Cause like, I don't know if you noticed, but when I went like this, it just, like a little bit of gloss flies out and sometimes it gets on my outfit. So I have to be so careful when I use this. But other than that, the color is amazing. It's super long lasting and it also hydrates the lips like no tomorrow. And I highly compare it to the Buxom lip glosses as well, which you know I love. And the other thing is that if you guys don't already know, this lip gloss is filled with collagen. So collagen is like, you know, the stuff that gives you all the plump and also is what keeps your face and whatever look young and plump and all of that. So this is called the Collagen Lip Bath in Pillow Talk. Okay, so the next item that I have for you is a foundation. And this foundation is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. And I know if you're already an avid beauty fan and you already follow a lot of different people on social media, this is probably not the first time you've heard of this foundation, but I do have something else to provide you. First of all, I do wanna say that after hearing all the hype, I decided to go out and buy this foundation just to see what the hype was all about and honestly it does live up to the hype for sure it is definitely a little bit on the expensive side but if you are someone who is very passionate about foundation i think it is worth the investment i would compare this to the nars sheer glow foundation but it is a little bit higher coverage is what i have experienced i have this foundation in the color 3.5 the other thing i wanted to mention that is different than what other people may have mentioned is because it was my first time trying the foundation and because I knew that I was coming here on this trip. I did buy it in the travel size, which I didn't know that it existed, but this is how small the travel size is. And it is also half the price of the full size bottle. So I'm gonna do a calculation here for you later just to tell you which one is more worth it. I am guessing the larger bottle is probably more worth your buck. But if you are someone like me who, if I'm trying it out, I don't wanna invest in the full bottle. I just wanna try out half this might be the way to go the other thing i wanted to mention is that it is honestly the perfect foundation travel bottle so i love buying products that have refillability in it so this foundation after i am done with it and either i buy the full bottle or i buy other types of foundations i can see myself reusing this container and putting foundation in it it also comes with a really nice cap that just pops up so when you are traveling you don't have to worry about the foundation getting all over your bag because there is that cap that helps contain the foundation all in one place. Foundation wise, love and also just kind of like the size of the bottle I also really love and even if I finish using this foundation and want to fill it up with something else I can totally reuse this bottle. The last product in the beauty category that I wanted to talk about is actually a skincare product. So this is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow sleeping mask. Wow, that's kind of a 
mouthful. I also have the travel size for this product. And honestly, this product is one of the better sleeping masks I have used. So my longtime favorite previously was the Laneige sleeping mask. I'm sure everyone has tried it and loved it. So this one is pretty comparable to that. I will also do a price comparison. So I will also show you that here. What I really like about this skincare product is first of all, it's super hydrating. And when you apply it, it is very light and it smells so delicious. It's very water based. I don't know if you can see it at all. But when you put it on, it doesn't feel like very lotion-y and stuff. And just the sheer smell just makes you want to like put the whole thing on your face. But if you are looking for a very hydrating sleeping mask, I highly recommend checking this one out and the packaging could not be any cuter. So this is once again, what the packaging looks like and it is so adorable. Okay guys, so for the next section, I'm gonna be touching upon two home stuff. I'm sorry if it looks like I shifted because I realized I ran out of space on my camera or my memory card, so I had to go and upload what I previously talked about and then now I'm back. But anyway, the two items that I wanted to talk about are home things, but they're not home decor things only because I'm gonna put that as like a completely separate video. This is just kind of the things that I sort of wanna get out now because I really do feel so passionate about it. Okay, so the first thing is something that I tell literally all my friends, people that come over, if I ever go to people's houses and I notice they don't have it, or just even literally strangers on the street, this is honestly the best purchase for your house and for your parents' house. Like, I don't care. This is just a great housewarming present. It is this Ikea bottle opener. And I kid you not, my parents never go to Ikea. So I literally went to Ikea in Toronto and bought another one and brought this back for them just because I know they never go themselves. They don't drink that much anyway, but regardless. So basically this bottle opener from Ikea is not that expensive. I want to say $8, but once again, we'll confirm the price. This is honestly a freaking game changer. I swear to you, I think from now on, I am going to be bringing this when I travel because every single time, like we want to get a nice bottle of wine and there's just always the problem of like, oh my God, does the hotel have a wine opener? And even if they do, it sucks. I just absolutely love this product and I'm going to tell you why. I'm just actually going to open it right now for you. My parents don't have a bottle of wine here for me to demonstrate live. So I think I'm going to film another video on the side and then I will leave the video here. How you would use this product is that this product, you can take it apart like this and this portion right here actually like cuts the bottle for you. So you place this on top and then you cut it open directly and then that way you don't have to do that annoying because some of the wine bottles are quite thick whereas having this being able to twist it around just makes it so much easier and then the best part of this is when you start screwing the wine bottle in um, instead of having to use all your force to try to pull out the cork you just literally twist it and you continue to twist until it starts moving up and then you just twist it out so there's literally no effort necessary um, you can actually see from the back of this packaging how they are opening it with the thing on top. But um, this is the one bottle opener that I recommend to everybody. It is such a great investment and it is better than any bottle opener out there and it's pretty affordable. It's honestly such a great gift for yourself, for anyone who has a new home. It's just a great gift. It is not an option whether or not you get it, you get it. That is how important this bottle opener is. Unless if you don't drink, then that's like a completely different situation. Sorry, I don't know if you hear the hammering. Okay, so the next product that I wanna talk about is the ND mattress. Obviously, I do not have it here with me in Vancouver. I'm sure you have already seen my post on the ND mattress. I promise you, they did not tell me to make this video. This testimony on here is solely honest and just me talking about it. So the first thing is that the ND mattress honestly does live up to its hype. I feel like in the beginning, I was not really used to it because when I first moved in, I didn't have a mattress frame. So I had put the mattress just on the ground and it wasn't really cooling my body as advertised. One of the features that they pride themselves in is like how much it cools your body, but it didn't really cool it for me. And I was kind of like, what is happening? I just keep on getting super hot. And then I realized it was because I had it on the ground. There was absolutely no breathability. So after I actually did get a bed frame, it changed the entire sleeping experience for me. If you have seen the caption on my latest photo, I talked about how I go to the bathroom 
million times a night. And ever since I started sleeping on the ND mattress, I don't know if this is like coincidence or like, I don't know what it is. I doubt this is coincidence, but I stopped going to the bathroom in the middle of the night. Like I just don't really have that interrupted sleep as much before. And as someone with ADHD, I genuinely like wake up so often. And then me having to go to the bathroom makes me wake up even more often. And it's just like such a nightmare when I sleep because I'm just like constantly waking up. But lately I already stopped going to the bathroom, which is huge. And then it's funny because the minute I got back here, I've always loved the mattress that my parents have in my room, but I have started waking up again to go to the bathroom. So I'm not sure if this is coincidence or what type of sorcery this is, but this is just honestly something that has been happening. Basically what I'm trying to say is that it does live up to the hype and it is worth investing. The other thing I did want to talk about is if you use my code, you do get $50 off the mattress, but literally five minutes before I filmed this video, I got an email from them saying that all of these codes are expiring on March 31st, 2020. So if you are interested in getting a $50 discount off of your mattress, please do this before March 31st because that promo is expiring. I've left a link and of course my promo code which is WAY50. My last name and $50. If you have been thinking about it, I definitely do recommend trying it because they do give a 100 day free trial. So if you don't like it after the 100 day, you can always return it. So if you're already kind of like on the fence and you're thinking of switching your mattress or if you're in need of a mattress, right now is a really good time to give it a try. And then if it doesn't work out, you can just return it. But yeah, that was pretty much the video for today. I really hope you enjoy the favorites that I've provided for February. I'm not gonna make promises that I'm gonna do this every month because I don't trust myself, frankly. So I hope I can do it every month. But in the meantime, if you want to subscribe to my channel, please do so. I have some exciting videos coming, including a vlog for Vancouver. I also have my essentials for lip products coming up as well. So make sure you subscribe and click the like button if you like this video, that helps me out a lot. And also leave a comment if you know you wanna go the extra mile, unless if it's a hate comment, then you don't need to go the extra mile, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, that's all I have to say and I will see you guys next time, bye.